And this is from a young man, the first question. I believe he was 17, but that page is gone now. This is the question. By expressing my values or views to my parents, it feels like putting them up onto an altar and destroying my values, virtues, and views. My parents don't know I'm an atheist. I go to church and pray at the dinner table quite fine. They're convinced that I'm a nice Christian son. However, I'm far from that. Now, I don't agree with what you're doing. You're 17, and I think you are being hypocritical and wrong if at that age you are not only, you know, saying it, but you're actually going and praying at the dinner table, etc. Now, you said if you express your views to them, you think you're destroying them. Well, that is subjectivism. That is a variation of Dominique's view in the fountainhead, that the world is corrupt, the world is rotten, and if you bring your views out into the world, you're threatening or harming them. That is totally wrong. If you bring your views out into the world, assuming you're an adult, that makes them objective, that gives them a power, that gives them an opportunity to, to be heard an opportunity for you to act on them and do something about it. So you're very wrong in your feeling that you're um, raising people that you disagree with onto an altar and harming your own views. Now, this does not mean that you should proselytize, that you should discuss your views with your parents, that you should argue with them. First of all, as Ayn Rand once told me, no child will ever convince a parent of anything. Because by the nature of a parent, they have automatized the role of being your guide and protector. So it's a total affront to their view of themselves to try to convince them. But what you should do is be pleasant, do not be argumentative, but don't uh, lie. The only argument that could be made against what I'm saying is that you're only 17, you don't become legally adult till 18, you are, in principle, still dependent on them, presumably you're living at home and eating their food, etc. So there is a conflict here. And I think maybe the best solution, if they're not going to be friendly about it, and you have to stay at home, you know, for a year or whatever in order to survive, you should follow what they require, but within limits. You don't lie, and you're not a hypocrite. You say, you know, mother and dad, I know you'll disapprove of this, but I am an atheist. I don't believe in so-and-so. Now, if you want me to go on, I will, you know, pretend. I'll go through uh, the motions, but then when I leave home, that'll stop. I'm happy just to leave the subject aside and not talk about it at all, if you are. And then you have to go from there. If they say, okay, uh, what typically a parent will do will be mad for three months and then say, okay, it's my son, I have to live with it. Or sometimes they'll flip out totally. Maybe if you think that's what they're going to do, you have a backup plan, a relative or whatever. But I don't think it's good for you for your character to keep on going to church and praying at the table at your age.